My name is Peter Bruninger, and I'm here today with Peter Hansen from Synergistic Research. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Good to see you, and thanks for having me here today. Good. It's good for you to be here. Uh, you've got some interesting products to show us. Yeah, we have just developed a new technology called UEFT technology, which stands for Uniform Energy Field Technology. And we have a couple of new products in this with this technology. One is called the HFT, which stands for High Frequency Transducer. And then we have an active device called the FEQ, which stands for Frequency Equalizer. And this is what we're going to show you today, how this installs and what effect it has on your room acoustics. Okay, good. So the FEQ and the HFT are treatment devices for your room, is that correct? That is correct. The FEQ is the active device and the HFTs are the passive devices. It's a new way of being able to treat your acoustics in your room in a small, unobtrusive way. The FEQ, as an active device, can be used on its own and make an improvement in your acoustics in the room. Mm -hmm. The HFTs can be used by themselves in a room and create an improvement in your acoustics. Combine, it's like having 911 Porsche, 911 Porsche combined at a 911 Twin Turbo. Wow, impressive claims. We'll see how they work next. The HFT. How does it work, Peter? We have in each five packs five HFTs. Mm -hmm. In each box, you will find a piece of blue tack. I mean, a strip of blue tack. You can hold that for a second. Yeah, blue tack is a uh, non damaging and putty like adhesive that you put uh, on an object to uh, fix it to another object. In the box, there will be a strip of foam, and in the foam, you'll have the five high frequency transducers. You pop them out. Mm -hmm. You take a tiny little bit of blue tag. You stick it to the back of the HFT. And that's all you need to be able to attach it to the wall. Yeah, look at that. And when you have applied the, the blue tag, the only thing that's left to do is stick it onto the wall. And you're done. There you go. An HFT applied to a wall-like object. And how many of them? Five. In, there's five in each five pack mm -hmm. and we have on our website how to go up to a level four. So five in a pack but when you do a five pack that's called a level one, is that correct? Correct. Level one requires one five pack, level two will be another five pack, level three and so forth. Uh, the Improvements, uh, do, are they equal all the way up? Do they have a diminishing return? There's nothing subtle about it. Okay. Well, that was interesting about the HFTs, how small they are and how the blue tack works. Now, what about the FEQ? Tell me about that. The FEQ is the active device of this system. As I explained before, it can stand on its own and make an improvement in your room. HFTs can stand on their own, make an improvement in your room, but combine. They, they magnify each other. The FEQ is an active device, so of course it requires power in mm -hmm. order to function. Mm -hmm. So in the box, you will find a World War type power supply okay. that you plug into the wall, mm -hmm. and it's important that you plug it in in the right polarity, so let's talk about that right now. When you have a duplex, you have a hot, neutral, and a ground hole. Typically a ground hole will be going towards the floor, and if that's the case, this will go into the outlet with the wire going in the direction of the ground hole. Okay. Since it's a two-pronger, it can go in either way. If you go the wrong way, it is the wrong polarity. Okay. The other end of the power supply plugs into the 30 volt input on the back, plugs into the wall. We also have a technology that we developed called a ground plane technology built into this device. It's a way of grounding components through a ground plane. Okay. Comes with a separate wire, plugs into the unit, and that wire is attached to a ground pin on an AC plug, and you plug that into your wall. So now this whole thing is grounded for low and risk floor. And then it also has an on off switch to activate the unit. Correct. The minute you plug it in, you flip it up. The blue LED light over here will indicate that the unit is active. 
Is there any particular position in the room where you would want this plugged into? Yeah, it, we will show that later on in the whole setup how to place it. The, um, okay. It will be behind the speakers, typically in the center of the room, but we'll show you that visually here. Okay, good. Let's do that next. Peter, you had showed us several levels of the HFTs. Uh, can, show us where, where do you start? Each five pack indicates one level. So the first five pack of HFTs you install in your room will be the level one. Level one goes on the wall behind the speakers. One will go up towards the ceiling on the top, one about two, three feet down, that will be about ear level. The center one will be in the center here, also about ear level. The last two will go on the right hand side, just on the left where you have number four and number five, with the same distances apart as on the left side. By having these five HFTs now in place, they now establish the outer boundaries in this room for your sound state that now allows it to, to present the sound states behind your speakers. So what you will do is you will grab your first five pack of HFTs, opening it up and the blue tag is in there. Take out the foam and you just push them out. One, two, three, four, and five. So there are your five HFTs. Take the blue tack, and as I showed before, tiny little piece of blue tack on each one of them. One, two, Three, four, and five. So we'll place on the left hand side about ear level, let's say it's right around here, out towards your side wall. Simply just push, and the next one about three feet or so up above it. That's your two. Number three will go in the center. And it doesn't matter if you have artwork or stuff like you here. You simply just put it on there. It does not have to be 100% symmetrical. You go over to the other one here by ear level. That's number four. And then we have number five. So now you have, as I said, established the outer boundaries for your sound stage behind the speakers. Okay, Peter, level one seemed easy enough. Can we do level two? We sure can, Peter. And just like we did level one, it requires one five pack. Level two will require the number two five pack. You prep it just the same way as level one. Open the box. The box has the blue tag in it. It has the foam. You push the five HFTs out. One, two, three, four, five. You prep them the same way with the blue tag on them. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'll just point out first where they will go, and then I'll show you where you install them. You will have one that will go down low, below the center one, just about two or three inches above the floor. That's where you'll put number one. Number two will go dead center in your ceiling. So if you drew a cross line in your room, right in the dead center, that's where you'll put number two. Number three goes on, in this case, the left side wall. Number four will go on the right side wall. And if you look here, there is obviously no side wall, but that's not a problem with the HFTs. This will act like a false wall. Number five, the last one, will go on your back wall up high. So that's where they'll be put. And let's see level three. We sure can, Peter. And it's just like the first two levels we did we're utilizing another five pack of HFTs. The next five, you will plant one, two on your front wall, 
half the distance between your outer H of T and the center one. That's where you'll put one. Same thing on the other side. That's number two. Number three goes on your back wall, down low. That's three. And then you have the last two that you put behind the listening position on the side walls. So that makes you five. Okay, so that was level three. How about level four? Where do they go? Level four requires two five packs, not one, because we're dealing with the speakers now. Each speaker will take four, so there will be eight out of the ten that leaves you two left that you can put on chassis on your components. It makes wonders on digital components on chassis on top of digital cables, but we can cover that at a later point. But the main point is we're putting them on the speakers. On the front, if it's a front port of speaker, you would want to place the first one close to the port. If it's not, in this case, not ported, you will put it close to, let's just say, this one woofer here, right above it. That'll be your number one. Number two will go right dead center on the back of your speaker. That's number three. Number four goes right on the middle of the, on each side of the speaker. That'll be three and four. You do the same thing on, in this case, the right speaker. And that makes up for the, you know, the next two five packs, and that will be your level four. Okay, Peter, let's see level four applied. Yeah, as I mentioned, level four goes on each speaker. You have four HFTs goes on it, one on the front, one on the back, and one on each side. The first one I will apply here, right above the first woofer here. Again, you can play around with, with the placement of them, but this is a general starting point. Then we put one on the side. Roughly dead center. Do the same thing on the other side. And then you'll put one on the back side of the speaker, right in the middle. So that's your four HFTs for the speaker. Now we just got finished level four, and we're playing deep here. We played it just before we set up level one, two, three, and four. And I, I sat in the sweet spot just a moment ago, and the sound is now coming from behind me like this, all around. It's, I didn't want to believe this. This is, uh, these little things, I mean, it just literally, the sound stage, it, it not only went this way, it went to the sides as well, and behind me as well. It's simply incredible. Can we put the FEQ in the system? We sure can, Peter. The FEQ has the power supply as we mentioned before. So we plug it into the wall with the right polarity, meaning the wire follows the, the direction of the ground hole on the AC outlet. We plug it into the DC input. You plug your ground wire in, that's also plugged into the out AC outlet. And then you flip the switch. Blue LED light comes on. Unit is active. And we put on a set of MIG footers here because we have carpeted floor. And now it's good to go. Okay, we've installed level one, two, three, and four. We've also put in the FEQ. So we have the FEQ and the HFTs. And we sat down and did 15 minutes of listening and the room disappeared. Now I've had lots of high line equipment in this room over the past six months. Power cores and strips and a, a lot of different amplifiers and we're in the, wrapping up the Sony review. This is the biggest change I've ever heard in my listening room to date. End of story. It's amazing. Those are some big words. Thank you. Truth. It's amazing. Yeah. It, this is a big deal. And I appreciate it, Peter. Yeah, well, you're quite welcome because right. you blew me away. Thank you. Okay. That was the point. Thank you. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs>